you two Whangarei houses where she's an appalling landlord. Thank you. Uh, I call Matt King. Thank you, Madam Chair. Just a short call. I won't go the full five minutes. Um, so, so who pays? Who pays? Uh, does the tooth fairy, tooth fairy pay? Because um, don't pretend that uh, renters won't pay. Um, I just wonder how many people across the house have actually run businesses and they know about costs and ingoings and outgoings. Because uh, um, I heard Chloe Schwabick talk, and she and she was uh, she was saying she was one of five that haven't haven't been are only renting. Well, and that um, that us across the other side of the house, according to the pecuniary register, <laughs> are homeowners. Well, most of us bought our houses before we became politicians, except for maybe Nick Smith, because um, I can't imagine when he joined politics he was a uh, house owner. But um, look, um, I, and she's 23, so it's acceptable for her to be a renter. But I've been a, I've been a landlord, and and I've been a tenant, um, and I've been uh, as recently as this year I was a tenant. Um, and I had to find a, a rental property, and I fully expect to have to pay a tenancy fee because I understand that people that run agencies that uh, have to pay their own bills and run businesses and do screening and fill out paperwork yeah. have, got, have got to pay their bill, and how are they going to cover their costs? Well, of course they're going to charge a fee, so it's expected. So I can't understand the thinking behind, OK, well, we'll just, uh, we'll just ban that fee, because someone will pay. Um, I, I ran a business, uh, uh, a Honda business, and uh, ran, um, selling motorbikes and uh, lawnmowers, that sort of thing. And I remember um, the, my priority was paying my workers' wages. That's the first thing that, of course, you paid the rent, then you paid the payroll, um, and only after that did I come out of it with whatever was left over I got. And I always used to tell, uh, quite often at the end of every month, my workers took home more money than I did as a business owner. And they wouldn't believe that because they'd see a, a shop full of um, hundreds of thousands of dollars worth of equipment. But in actual fact, that's all on tick. That's all, that was all on, uh, on finance. So, so, so that's the situation. You, um, you have to pay. You have to pay. Someone pays. So, so, so Labor, their, their, um, their, uh, their specialty is rising costs. Under their um, reign in the last 12 months, rents have gone up. $25 a head, $25 a head. So, um, so and, 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 and we, what we've got to look at is we've got to understand um, what, what, what accumulates to make those costs. And uh, obviously, the more, charge, more costs you lay on landlords, they'll pass it on to the tenant and the tenant will pay. So Labor, what do they do? They hammer the risk taker, the, the property owner. That's myself. I've been a, a, a landlord myself. Um, and they're rushing this legislation through Parliament. They're rushing it through. The regular, uh, regulatory impact statement tells us this. So, so for me, this is politics and spin rather than substance. Just banning a fee and expecting that no one's going to pay it um, just doesn't make sense. I call Jamie Strange. I move that the question be now put. The question is that the question be now put. Those of that opinion will say aye. Aye. To the contrary, no. The ayes haven't. The question is that part one stand part, although.